are going through a cultural shift. Okay. Culture is going towards the lavish lifestyle because we've been on such a bull market for so long. Absolutely. The market's been just skyrocketing for so long. Everybody so that's why it's intelligent to market yourself as a fancy, huge life, uh, you know, profoundly rich person. Look at Ty Lopez. You know, his YouTube ads were him showing off his giant house. And there I've seen like five different people using that same there, tactic. There were, in, in his ads, more of the content was advertising content than actual deliverable of content. And, and it works. I mean, there's nothing to get there. Yeah. I, I like the, the guy. thing is, it worked. Yeah. 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 yeah, it, it worked. worked. He obviously knew what he was doing, but that's exactly it. It was all a marketing tactic because people, for some reason, and I think it's, I think it, I think it truly does stem back to people's laziness. If you show people spreadsheets or income statements or even your own bank account, if you show them, oh, well, I made this much money doing. Nobody gives a fuck. But if you show them the big house or you're on vacation, people just, they tune into that. And it's sad because none of that is actually going to make you successful, but it is a way to pull people in, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it really it's, is. It's a way to almost prove you're successful when you don't have to. I can pull in more views doing that than somebody who has millions in the bank but has never showed any of their money. That person is going to experience less success than the person who just, just flaunts their non-existent rentals the person who who saves his money who's actually a millionaire and who tries to do business videos in a much more mellow or a much more professional sense they're going to get less views than the person who's flaunting everything and that they went and spent a couple grand to look like a big shot because i mean how much does it actually cost to go on vacation two three four grand and you can act and you can have a great marketing campaign and act like you're successful and that people are going to listen to that person more than the person who actually knows. And that's unfortunate. It's sad. It really is sad. I'm very excited for the economy to, to hit a bump. You're going to see who's real. All these blingy people that exploded on Instagram, you're about to find out who earned their money and who was just blingy. Who just was fancy. Yeah. I think everybody should watch How the Economic Machine Works by Ray Dalio. It's on YouTube. It talks about how the majority of people the way the way Ray Dalio is a famous famous hedge fund I believe he's a hedge fund manager um, it just talks about how most people when they see the economy they you know you see you see in, in reality from from you know from the 60s to now the economy is always up and it's down and it's up and it's down and it's up and it's down it's right still in an upward fashion correct well that too but most people when they're looking at the economy, they're looking at it in a magnifying glass. So they only see this part, or they only see this part. So basically what, what the video explains is, and it explains why the market goes like this. It also explains that there are small trends and there are big trends Ooh. when you get stuff like this. This right here would be like the Great Depression, but pretty much what it's saying is that, and it's what your people on Instagram are here. They don't see this part. Mm -hmm. They don't see that eventually you're gonna get this downturn and it's natural. but they overextend themselves and what's interesting is most people have the most amount of money right here right most people don't have the most amount of money right here so most people feel the wealthiest right before you get a downturn so that means most people instagram models whatever are overextending themselves right here when in reality any smart business person should be overextending him or herself here yeah, this is where you should be taking loans that's when you're making your exactly money. this is where you should be flashing your fancy cars on the way up not up here when you overextend yourself and now you're fucked. See, that's what, but, but people should just watch the video. He does a much better job at explaining the market cycle. And I think, I think most people are stuck in here. They're stuck in this. It's always going to be roses and butterflies. It's, it's always going to be up because they have it's always going to be Coachella. Coachella. And it's, it's always Coachella. Exactly. And everybody can afford Coachella now. They don't have enough fucking tickets because everybody can show up to Coachella. Yeah. And then again, it happens the same in the bottom. People here look at it as a magnifying glass and they never see that eventually the market is gonna take off. They only see this part. They're always sad. They don't realize that this is when you should be investing, when you should be buying houses, when you should be investing in the stock market, when you should be taking out loans to make business decisions. Because like you say, money's the cheapest here. Money's fucking expensive up here. Your interest rates are high up here. Everything's high up here. Down here, you're, you're in quantitative easing and you have almost I mean, well, there was a time where there was 0% interest, almost. You know, you could get money for free. And our beloved president, whether you like him or not, I still remember <laughs> him. I still remember him on Fox News, like 2009, 2010. The words he said was, money... 
<laughs> is cheap. And then people ask him why, why, why he would not buy things with his own money. And he said, why would I buy, why would I buy houses? Why would I buy property with my own money when I can use somebody else's money and Ooh. almost pay them nothing? That's crazy. You know, I, I, like I can that. pay him a percent a yeah, year. Yeah, you can you pay him, oh. You know, up here, the interest rate is 9, 10%. You're paying a fuck ton. But if you get loans down here, it's different. But that's just my tangent for the day. Finance and chocolate. <laughs> yeah, shameless, Finance shameless and plug. Yeah, that's 